Years ago, I watched a YouTube video about Hollywood movie star James Dean. It interviewed James Dean's cousin, who still lives on the family farm today. To make a long story short, I tracked down the cousin's phone number and gave him a call. I asked him if I could metal detect the home and property where James Dean grew up, and he graciously granted me permission. I'm at the Winslow Farm in Fairmount, Indiana, the farm where James Dean, the movie star, grew up at. I'm metal detecting, and um, I've been here approximately four days. I've uh, done the lawn. Uh, unfortunately, that yielded nothing. Uh, the property has been metal detected a number of times over the years pretty hard. Uh, I wasn't expecting much. Uh, but I wasn't expecting nothing either, uh, and that's what resulted when I was doing the lawn. So I decided to uh, go inside the pasture, and as you can see, it's tough swinging. The grass is pretty high. Um, it's uh, a number of inches, um, but <laughs> uh, when I first got their permission, some, somebody asked me what I was hoping to find, and I said, Boy, wouldn't it be nice to either find a toy car or a cap gun? And I never thought in a million years, I thought I would get struck by lightning before I found this, but this just happened. Um, follow along with me while I show you what I found. Um, this is it. This is a cap gun. Uh, obviously, it's very ornate, as you can see. Um, it was uh, down approximately uh, five inches in the ground. Uh, gave a very sweet signal, um, but I thought I was digging. I don't know what I thought I was digging. Uh, when I extracted it, I thought it was just another piece of junk because boy, I found pounds of junk on this property. Um, but again, this is just a find of a lifetime for me. Uh, I never in a million years expected to find this. Uh, to say I'm happy is an understatement. Um, I've already um, uh, took some of the dirt off here, as you can see. Um, to to see exactly what it was um, because when I extracted it I wasn't sure um, but when I took the uh, the dirt off it revealed itself to be uh, a part of a cap gun as uh, as you can see some of it's dried off uh, and as some of it's still wet from where the dirt was um, let me flip it over to reveal the other side again very ornate Can see the cylinder there. Uh, let me poke this out and there's the trigger. I will clean that up with a um, toothbrush and um, post some pictures but uh, I'm glad that you were able to um, experience this as I experienced it in real time. After the dig, I could hardly contain my excitement. I made my way to the James Dean Museum where I showed the curator there, Dorothy, my find. She was equally as excited as I was and when she pulled out some photographs and we looked at them, we both were just in amazement. We both carried on and giggled like schoolgirls, and it was just an amazing experience to share with her. This next photo will absolutely blow your mind. It's not often that we find something and have a photo that goes with it. Now is it the cap gun? That's the question.
We know James had a lifelong affinity for guns, and I can imagine him as a small child twirling around his cap gun. I'm here today with Marcus Winslow. Uh, Marcus is the cousin of James Dean, uh, the movie star. Um, he was raised with uh, James. Uh, they were more like brothers. Um, I had the opportunity, uh, Marcus and his family let me metal detect uh, their uh, property in the spring. And uh, I didn't find anything around the house. Uh, I've been told that it's metal detected many times before. Um, so I, I metal detected the uh, cow pasture and was lucky enough to dig an old cap gun. Uh, it's an old Hubley, uh, made between the 1940s and 50s. Um, and uh, that's the question. If it was the 1940s, it would have been Jimmy's. If it's the 1950s, it would have been Marcus's. So I'm here today uh, just kind of to get confirmation uh, uh, to see uh, if it was his or not. Um, so Marcus, uh, if you could uh, tell uh, people what you think of it. It doesn't look familiar to me. I don't think it, I don't think it was ever mine. Uh, it's got a lot of designs and stuff made in it. Uh, like you say, it says Texan on it. Uh, I've never seen it before, so it, it could have been Jimmy's gun. Okay, okay. Looks very old. Indeed it does, and I think it's very interesting since it does say Texan on it, mm -hmm. and that's where uh, in Texas Jimmy filmed his last film, Giant, there. So right. Right. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, giving me the opportunity to, to metal detect and find something really, really interesting, um, and uh, just thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> You may be wondering what I did with the cap gun. Well, I was offered money for it, but I decided to donate it to the James Dean Museum located in Fairmount, Indiana, keeping it at home. But the best treasure of all is the people that I met along the way, people that were strangers, now I call friends. <laughs>